Welcome back to another episode of Feed the Beast Minecraft Edition with Whale Masher. My frame rate is being stupid again, and I don't know why. Uh, today, uh, we are going to attempt to make a semi automated sorting system. I guess that's what you'd call it. I uh, don't know if I have enough uh, materials though. I really don't think I have enough materials here. Pretty sure I'm going to need more than uh, than what I have. So, uh, with that being said, let's just go ahead and get started. I'm going to basically run these pipes. I'll show you guys what I'm going to do. I have to get rid of these anyhow. I'm going to run these pipes all the way down. Not quite down this far. I'm going to dig a new tunnel at uh, at a different level, which I actually have to grab or find. And it's going to come up here. This is above my... This is what's above my... Uh, are you stuck, buddy? I'm sorry. Whoa, where'd you come from? Uh, this is above my, my storage room down below. I think I'm, I think I'm lagging a little bit. Uh, so yeah, this is what is below, or sorry, above my sorting system, so I have to bring this piping to this level. Uh, this level is uh, 40, so I have to bring the piping down to level 40, and then I'll see you guys. Okay, so uh, what I've done is I've I've added these, these pipes everywhere, I've run them down from... Uh, what will be my sorting room. So it comes all the way through here and into the room. And oh, oh no, I didn't miss it. Okay, good. It does go down there. And they come down almost to the chest. So as you can see, it would be right there and then down and into there. So this is working out quite well, except for the fact that the server is very laggy today. I have the turtle raising the roof by one, because I couldn't get through here standing on these pipes. Uh, so these are all ready to uh, be attached, basically. But I'm going to need more pipes, because now I don't have enough. So one, two... I might have it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I have 18 of these per uh, per area. What are there? There's one, two, three, four, five per side. So 10. So 10 times 18 is 180. So I'm gonna need another 180 pipes to do all of these. Now the reason I like this design is, as you can see here, I have an extra chest added. So it, because of the way it works, all I have to do is add more rows of uh, more rows of the uh, uh, pneumatic pipes, like you know, a row right across here, for example. And that's going to hit all of the barrels on that row, and then this will hit all the barrels on that row. So it makes for a very easy uh, upgrade when I actually need to do that. Which, you know, I will need to do, uh, but it allows me to do it when I have the resources. So I need another 180, I have 45, so I need another, 100, another 135 uh, tubes. So I'm going to go and make those, and then I also need to make a filter, uh, which is right here. So this is the other thing I have to make. I've already made one of these. You guys saw me use it on the uh, uh, golem farm, which is right now probably over full. Uh, so yeah, um, the other nice thing is that when I decide to make a retrieval unit, I can use the same pipe to to do the retrieving. Uh, so this is this is gonna work out really well, I think. Uh, so I'm looking forward to seeing it done. I'll be right back. Alright, so I'm still working on this. Uh, I'm still trying to mine all the all the resources that I need to make these pipes and then some extra. Uh, so I should have enough now to actually make these pipes should I decide to at this exact moment, but I'm not. 
I'm going to show you a little bit more of what I've done. So I've added a, uh, a steel chest here, and, or no, an iron chest. This is basically going to be the uh, drop-off chest, or the, the sort chest. This is put a, let's say, uh, uh, drop-off chest. I don't know, I don't like that. And this diamond chest will be the overflow chest. Uh, it could be overflow or unsortable items that will be inside of this chest. So you come around the back, uh, you're going to see something else. And this is a restriction uh, tube or restriction pipe. I'm not sure exactly. Let's see here. Restriction tube. There you go. So what it is, it's a regular pneumatic tube with an iron ignit <laughs> on there. Uh, so here's how you make these, just in case you guys don't know. It requires brass and glass. Uh, so that's how you make it. What the restriction tube does, to my understanding, is it basically is worth 5,000 tubes. So one restriction tube is technically the length of 5,000 regular tubes. So between this tube here and this tube here is one block. Between this tube here and this tube here is 5,000 blocks. Uh, the reason for that is because sometimes these, as far as I understand again, is that sometimes the items want to go to the nearest available chest. Okay, that's what they're looking for is the closest available spot that they can go to. So that makes this uh, diamond chest automatically the furthest possible option for anything that's an overflow. So it's possible that it'll shoot, some, shoot something down here all the way out there, realize there's nowhere for it to go and bring it back and then into this chest. Because what's going to be here will actually be a filter. Uh, instead of this tube, there's going to be a filter attached to the uh, chest right there. So this will actually come out one. Uh, so for now, that's all I'm going to show you. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get my get my stuff here and make some tubes, and then I'll be back. Actually, real quick, I've been doing a lot of uh, mining, uh, just a ton of mining. So hey, look, there's Joe, and he's asking me how to how to do the same thing I'm doing right now. So uh, maybe what I'll do is I'll show him at the same time I'm showing you. Okay, so I'm finally making brass. So every time you make one brass, I think you get four of them. Uh, yeah, you do. So I'll have lots of brass and uh, hopefully... See, there's Joe. I'll have lots of uh, leftover. I got a little bit of leftover copper and I have quite a bit of leftover tin. So that's all handy stuff. In fact, I'll probably just make a stack and then stop and save everything else. Uh, Joe is actually making the same thing. Uh, I explained to him how to do everything. Uh, let me see if he made me one. I asked him to make me... Oh, he did. So he made me a wafer. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and make the tubes. I'm gonna make uh, I'm gonna make the uh, filter right here, uh, which requires this guy. So I'm gonna make that, and then I will be ready to start setting this. Oh, only two of those. The rest of them are down in my sorting room. Darn. Okay, well, looks like I'm making a trip down. <laughs> all right so something else we're gonna need is a timer i've gone ahead and already made all the components for it oh no i haven't i almost went ahead and made all the components for it but then i didn't there we go still gotta make one more of these There we go. Now I think I've made all the components. It just takes a while to make them all, so there's really no point of doing it on the video. I think you guys can figure out how to make it. So there's a timer. That's going to run the filter that I still have to make. Do I have the stuff to make the filter? I'm not sure. Let's see. Got. Oh no! You know what? I already made the filter. It's already it's already on there. Uh, I still need to make the tubes. So let's make the pneumatic tubing. Pneumatic tubing. 
I'm going to need how many of these? I'm going to need 140 approximately, I think is what I said. Isn't that right? So each one of these uh, is going to make, what was it? Eight, I believe they make. So I'm going to need uh, approximately 18 of them I'll have to make. So that would be, oh, I need glass. Oh, come on, I know I have glass somewhere. There it is. <laughs> this is um, unorganized. So let's make like, uh, there we go, let's make that many, then that many, and that many. Perfect. <laughs> okay. Now let's put some stuff away and I'll be right back. Okay. So we're down here. I've made my pipes. I think I have enough. I haven't actually counted them. Uh, I did put some bones through this thing to test it and it did send the bones down. I don't know where they went because there's nothing connected to any chests. So I'm sort of surprised that they went down, unless they just went straight into the overflow chest, which I didn't actually watch for, so they might have. Uh, anyways, I'm going to hook all these pipes up, uh, just like this. Oops. <laughs> I just put them inside there. That was not smart. Okay, so just like that. And... Uh, and then I will be back. And I think that those are actually going to be chests also, but I can't remember right now. Yes, it will. All right, guys, I'll be back. Okay, so I've uh, connected all of the pipes to their uh, to their barrels. Uh, you can see that one's got the, the double one. Uh, everything should be working okay at this point. I'm going to grab this turtle that had been doing some some uh did it run into hmm, I wonder why it stopped. That's weird. But you know what? It's good enough. Uh oh. <laughs> Get it. No. Let's throw away something and I'll grab him and then I'll be back, guys. I gotta break down some of these pipes. Okay, so, uh, as I told you, I had thrown in the uh, bones. There they are. They went right to the overflow chest. Uh, what I need to figure, is, figure out is how I'm going to hide this, or if I can do that through a block somehow. Uh, so let's work on that, and I'll figure it out, and then I'll show you. All right, and I'm back, and this is working. So let me show you what I did. I don't really want that one right there. So what I did with the timer was I just placed it right here, uh, the stone block will receive the signal from this every time it pulses, and that will turn the uh, filter on each pulse, and it will uh, pull out one stack of whatever is in there. Had I used a transposer instead of the uh, filter, then it would pull out one item at a time. The filter pulls out an entire stack at a time. Uh, so you can right-click on this. You can change the time. I have it set to one second. You could do 11, back down to 10. You can, you know, two, uh, that's the lowest you can go, or the fastest you can go, I guess. Uh, but I'm just going to leave it at one second. It seems to be, oops, it seems to be uh, working for me at one second pretty well. Uh, going to need to get some blocks that match. Uh, so if I go ahead and I put all this stuff in here, you're going to see it start being pulled out, and it's just going to be going down this pipe. All right, so it's going straight down there. Nothing is going to come up right now into the overflow chest. There's no reason for anything to be into the overflow chest. So let's see if we can get down here and, and find these. And I'm going to show you some of the things you need to know uh, when doing this. So, oops, wrong area. So when you're putting all these together, or when you're filtering everything, items are going to go to the nearest empty chest. They're not just going to go to the chest that happens to have the same item in it. As you can see, I've already thrown some things in here, and uh, it's already put them into chests, even though some of those chests, 
Let's see. I think, oh, here comes the stuff now. Perfect. Even though some of those chests or some of these barrels already have, for instance, uh, cobblestone in it or or uh, bricks in it, doesn't mean that they're necessarily going to go there. Brick should not go down there. Brick should be going approximately right in here. But because it's going to the nearest empty place, uh, that's where it's going to go. You see, they're just filling up multiple... I think those might have been steps, but it's just filling up multiple barrels with stuff. Now, these are all full, so these ones are looking for another nearby chest to go to. So they're going to go and find another empty chest. So what does this mean? This means that things are completely unorganized. Even though I have chests that have coal in it already, or charcoal, it's not going to go there. Uh, so to correct that issue, what you have to do is put an item, at least one of an item in a chest, to all of these chests or disconnect the tubes from some of the chests so that items don't go into them that you don't want there. So if you look over here, for example, um, sh you know, so here's dirt, right? I already have dirt uh, right here. Okay, so I would have wanted dirt to go into that area, but it's not because it went to the nearest empty chest. Uh, one of the ways that you can easily do this, I guess, would be you go up top, and this is what I'm going to end up doing. I'm just doing this to show you guys. Okay, scratch that. So what I was going to say was that if you come up here, uh, you can kill a spider because he's right here just partying. You gotta be careful. I saw a creeper in here earlier and I killed it. <laughs> I'm going to put in a lot more lighting. Uh, I was going to say, you come up here, uh, you basically break this pipe, you break this pipe. That leaves only these uh, being filled up. You choose... Uh, what 16 items that you would like to be in those chests and you dump them through the filter at which point it's going to automatically just choose a spot for these to go uh, or for those eight, 16 items or 18 items to go in I forget what I said into these barrels okay and it's going to sort them out for you on its own uh, an easier way to prevent things is to do what you see me doing here just put one dirt in each barrel and then nothing else will go into these barrels except dirt so if you already have some sorted out then you can just go ahead and uh, dump stuff in. It'll filter it into... Whoa! Jeez, where did you come from? There's lots of lighting here, sir. You are not allowed. This is a bad place for creepers to explode on you. Very not a nice thing. <laughs> I'm just saying. Not good times when creepers blow up all your inventory. It's bad days. Maybe they came from here. Sorry, guys. <laughs> so, so yeah, as you can see, anywhere I have a chest that's empty and I haven't decided what I want in there yet, piece of dirt. Uh, now we're going to go back up top, and I'm going to chuck some stuff into the filter for you again. All right, so here we are up top. The overflow chest currently has nothing in it. Uh, if I go ahead and put all these items in here, it's going to start trying to pull some of those down. However... I'm hoping that there's going to be no room for some of those items and they're going to end up coming back up and into uh, this overflow chest here. Let's just see if this happens. Nothing's in the filter. Uh, ch -ch 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 -ch. This overflow should be attached as far as I know and it is. So let's go ahead and dump some more uh, let's dump some more cobblestone in here. And let's dump some of this stuff in there. Oops. Oh, I put all that stuff in here. Okay. Now, uh, anything in here? No. Let's go down and see where everything is going, shall we? Let's get down here. I really need to get this train built. Or something to make this a little bit more speedy. Okay, so nothing obviously in these ones. And as you can see, is that a, it's a jockey. All right, so everything is coming down here and it's trying to sort itself out. It's trying to find a place to go. Those are going to their designated area, which is just over here somewhere. There it is. Uh, See, now these items are like, oh, hey, we don't know where we're going. We have nowhere to go. So let's go back. 
The brains do have an area to go. They're right over here in this barrel. I believe that's the one. Yep, right there, see? So, now all that stuff that we put in, as well as some of this stuff, now this stuff's coming back. I believe this stuff has a, a place to go, though. Yeah, this stuff's going to go right over here, I think. Yep, right over there. So everything's sorting out. Uh, however, there's a bunch of stuff that, you know, won't know where to go. So it's all going to come back. And you can see that it's all heading back now. So I'm going to go back up top. I don't know if I'm going to keep that radio, guys. I'm starting to find it a little bit annoying. And up here. And we're going to start seeing items coming back up momentarily. There they are. So, because these items have nowhere to go, they're going to come back up here and into the overflow. See? Oh, wow, look at that. See? That, I did not know what happened. So, because it's in the filter now, that's going to be bad news. <laughs> and I have to... Well, it's okay for now, because nothing else is coming through here. But this is actually good to show you guys. Uh, now, anything I put into here isn't going to go anywhere, because the filter, completely full. Okay? Uh, overflow, obviously getting overflow items. What I need to do to correct the issue that I'm having... And I'm pretty sure that I can do this. Where did I put them? There we go. This one here might work if it's small. Is that a small one? No. Well, I will make it smaller, even though I should have a smaller one somewhere. I'm pretty sure that I can do this. I might be wrong. If I put this... Right there. It just blocked that off, you see? So now nothing else will go into the filter. And we'll be good. So now that spider eye... See, it knows that there's nowhere for it to go. So now if I start filling up this chest again... I'm thinking that it's just going to send them straight to this overflow. Because now it's already sent something down to all those chests and it knows that there's no spots available for it. So now everything is automatically going to go into the overflow that doesn't have any space. So that makes it really fast for you when you are uh, trying to organize all of your items and you just, you know, you come running into your base from a, from a, from a trip somewhere and then you're going to be able to just look in here and say, okay, so some of these items aren't sorted out yet. Uh, you know, so this item has no no sorting bin. And then you can take this stuff and just kind of make miscellaneous chests around, or you can make new sorting bins. Once you notice that specific items are really piling up, then you can make a barrel for it. Uh, that's exactly how I'm going to do this. Uh, you guys can obviously choose to do it however you want. But I hope that this video has helped you guys with your sorting. Uh, making it a little bit easier for you. And uh, you know what? I'm going to actually probably put together a complete tutorial on this just to make it a little bit easier and a little bit shorter. All right. So have a wonderful night, guys. Rate, comment, subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Uh, show your friends. Do whatever. And have a great day, night, evening, morning, holiday time.